everybody. Welcome back to Pandemic Gaga's Cooking Show. I've got a head start on you guys. Remember back in uh, episode 66, we made, well, look at my little curly cue sticking up. That's what happens when you have partly curly, partly frizzy, partly weird hair. <laughs> you just gotta learn to live with it. That's all I know to tell you. But in episode number 66, we made um, cooked apples. So you can look back at that because I'm doing that again. And I've already started. I've got some apples already cooking in my apple juice. And um, <laughs> we're going to make fried, pie, fried apple pies today. Oh, me. <laughs> it's going to be good. We're going to just throw them together. But do you all see that little stem sticking up there? Did you do this when you were little? <laughs> Me and my cousin Valerie did. We was at our mamaw's house. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'll get married on Thursday. <laughs> That's what we would say as kids. <laughs> oh, the things we did when we didn't have videos. YouTube, Facebook, <laughs> or any other thing like that. We had a good old time, but we had to make it up as we went. I am peeling the apples this time. I am peeling the apples to put them in our fried pies. These, once again, are golden delicious. They're so yummy. Now, let's see. I'm recording this. It's the some kind of teen <laughs> in October. I don't know what teen it is. Oh, I want to know. Let's see. Excuse me while I go look. It is the 16th. I'm recording this on the 16th of October, 2020. Pandemic 20. We just can't seem to get over it. It's just such a silly, annoying thing, but there it is. Now, as you know, I do not have a quarter. -er. <laughs> anyway, that's good. So, I'm going to do it myself. I just slice around the sides. Um, and I'm going to cut these. I'm going to put them here. So, without that peeling, I'm guessing it won't take them long to get soft because, uh, in truth, my apples were getting, these two apples were getting soft anyway. I've had them for a few days. So I'll just like them up. You know, slice is about that big. Let's get them out all in the pan. Get them down in that apple juice. I just poured some apple juice in my skillet. I just poured some apple juice. It was probably about a cup, but you know, I didn't see why I needed to dirty up a cup. <laughs> you know me. Do what you gotta do. Let me put this on. Forgot to get my towel on before y'all got here. So we're gonna let these I've got a non-stick skillet that I use a lot. And so I was looking for this particular spatula to move them around with. I'm gonna let them cook a while. I did another bite of this. Look at my little curly cue again sticking straight up. Was it spanky on the little rascals? Some of y'all young ones, you'll have to Google that. Mmm, that's good. Now, I have already mixed up my thickening agent, which you'll get on episode 66 of cooked apples. But basically, it's some little apple juice. You know, just plain old apple juice. Some you know, tablespoon and a half cornstarch, 
And when I'm cooking apples, I use two tablespoons of sugar. I used a little more because we've got a fried pie going on here and we want those, those to be a little sweeter. <laughs> so I had a little more, I don't know how much more, maybe another half a tablespoon or something. So I've got that ready, it's all stirred up, it's all mixed together, it won't clump. We'll add this to this later. We gotta let these dudes get soft first. Cook down low. <laughs> now let's see. We gotta make a pie crust. So, here we go. Let's make us just a quick pie crust. Oh me. <laughs> you remember, I don't know if y'all younger ones do or not, but anyone my age or so, grandma always wore an apron in the kitchen. She sure did. And she would just wipe and pick up and clean up and <laughs> with her with her towel. Now, most grandmothers didn't use towels as their apron, but I do. I gotta sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. Y'all, every time you sneeze a cough, you think, oh, it's golden. <laughs> no, don't live in fear. Don't live in fear. Now, let's see. Yes, we have had COVID in our family. Back when it all first started, our oldest granddaughter, our oldest daughter had it. She lives in Florida, and she had it bad. But she did not, she was able to take care of it on the phone with doctors and just quarantined in her bedroom away from the kids and all. She did good and she recovered nicely. But it took three or four weeks for her to completely get um, over it where she felt normal again. Uh, so anyway, we're gonna make a pie, pie, uh, pie crust. So what we need is very simply some flour. This is just, you know, I have a canister that I put flour in and sugar in and cornmeal in. That's just what I use up, use out of every day. So this is self-rising flour. I've got bigger containers of flour and, and um, plain flour and all that stuff when I'm baking or something that I use. But no more than I'm going to cook today. This will do just fine. Just fine. So we're going to get us, we're going to mix up our pie crust. Our fried pie crust. I'm going to get, see how, when I say heaping, that's what I mean. So there's two, three, I'm going to go with four. Probably a lot more than I need. Maybe not enough, I don't know. That's all I'm gonna make right now. Whew. And this time, instead of uh, solid Cristo, <laughs> Cristo, oh, yeah, Cristo. <laughs> I'm gonna use just butter and I've got like a half a stick left over. And I am going to slice this. Just, just for the heck of it. <laughs> and I'm going to put that in here. Uh-oh, what have I done? I'm going to put that in here. And then, I'm going to cut that in. Keep a little, while you're doing this, keep a little eye. We don't want those to get dry or anything. And I'm gonna just cut that in with my big old fork. Cut it in, that just means I'm gonna go in here with the dry flour and the either Crisco or butter. And you can use either one, it doesn't matter. I basically didn't feel like walking over to the pantry. <laughs> and I got news for you. When you fry a pie, you gotta fry that pie in butter. You gotta make it like the grandmas always did. You want a good fried pie. And to be perfectly honest with you, you could probably do it without adding anything but flour and water. 
but it wouldn't be as good. Now to this, maybe a little hole there in the middle. I'm gonna add a little water. Remember, you can always add more, but you can't take any out. So there you go. Take it easy. And you know, if you add too much, just put some more flour in there. It's not a big deal. Y'all be fine. Ooh, you might guess when your grandbabies are coming over or when your kids are coming home from school, they love you. See, I just kind of stir like that and let it start catching itself. Now I am gonna have to add just a little flour because it's way too sticky. But for that, let's check on these dudes. I'm gonna flip them and a flop them. Flip them and a flop them. I always try to get them off the top of each other so that they are all getting down in there and cooking. They're getting there. I'm actually going to add a little more. And I'm going to tell you why. My stove top sits just slightly, slightly, slightly uneven. You couldn't tell it by looking at it, but when you're cooking something, <laughs> shh, don't tell nobody. But when you're cooking something, all the liquid wants to run to the <laughs> on one side. <laughs> oh, y'all. Life doesn't have to be perfect to enjoy it. It just is what it is. Let's get a little more flour. Now, I'm not going to take this and make like a pie shell, a great big pie shell to put in my great big pie pan. No. Nah. We're not going to put this in the oven either. They're fried pies, people. Fried pies. I am going, I'm going to cook it on the, I'm going to cook it in the skillet right here is what we're going to do. I don't see the point of dirtying up another one. <laughs> Is the point of all that? All right, here we go. <sighs> We're gonna put these, put some flour on our. Remember, we've made pie shells before and biscuits and stuff. I'm gonna have to leave this right here. As many times I go over and get it, and I'm gonna pop that. I'm gonna take my rings off. That's what I'm gonna do. Put them on my table. I'm gonna accidentally. Put them down the sink or something. All right. Here we go. Put them right there. Now look at that. Just a little ball of dough. Isn't that cute? Get some water in your bowl when you get done. So we'll dry it on there. Sometimes it real sound like a real hick, don't I? people live other places. Y'all sound goofy too. <laughs> you just goofy in a different way. So, you know, I'm going to just pull that in half there. <laughs> oh, if I had a camera, if I had a studio, there would be a camera over my head. Y'all can see me doing this from the top. That's not happening around this household, is it? You're not even getting a rolling pin out, cause gotta wash that dude when you get done. <laughs> Woo! So there we go. Y'all won't pay, play the drums Sunday morning? <laughs> Y'all think about that. Next time you're in church, somebody on those drums. Love to hear those drums in church. I love to hear all the instruments in church.
Sometimes I wish we'd just not sing and let those instruments play. Nothing better to me than an instrumental. I don't know why, but I do enjoy them. All right. Now, wonder what we could do. And it's all according to what size pie you want to make. Let's see. What shall we do? I don't know. But I don't want to make one big one. Let's see. Let's just let's just do this. Let's cut it in half. We'll see how that works. Lord my. Oh my apple juice is cooked out again. Let's not be shy about it. It is what it is. Let's see, you can tell better about how tender they are by taking a fork and just puncturing one. are getting there. They are getting there. That was a little hard. They're getting so pretty and I don't know if y'all can see or not. <laughs> Look, they're getting so pretty and golden. Y'all clean before you cook. <laughs> I, me for one, I never know where this food's popping out at. All right. Now, let's do this. Let's put our, this is our thickening agent, remember? It's got our sugar, our cornstarch, and some mixed in some apple juice. And I put a little extra, um, Sugar because we're making pies. Mmm. Oh, that already looks pretty. That already looks pretty. What is that? It's a piece off the apple core. That will thicken up nicely. Yes, it will. And I'm going to get a bowl, and when this gets thickened up, we'll pour it in it because we're going to cook our pies in here. So, let me find a bowl. I'm so glad y'all are here today. I have a... I don't know if y'all noticed or not, but the last few shows were outside and, and Michael did one with his dirt pan that I thought was really good and all, but I've had a few weeks, about six, and I just had a lot of pain, um, but about a week and a half ago, it all went away, so that's good. And so I just didn't feel peppy, didn't feel peppy. I'm glad to feel a little more peppy now. Get to go back to got to go back to working out start last just this, the other day monday so that was good it was nothing uh, terminal it was nothing real bad oh yeah we're thickening up good it was just um my lower back which i never had back trouble but um I think I got something kinked <laughs> and it would not release and uh, and it caused my back my lower back and then my hips were hurting and uh, for some reason I got bursitis in my hips I don't know why but as I say the older you get the more you talk about your diseases <laughs> I don't know I got it I don't know where you get that stuff I don't know what causes it or nothing else 
But it sure shows up. When it shows up, it hurts. I went and had a cortisone shot in both hips. Ugh. Painful. But it did the trick. So, I think my back, lower back and then my hips kind of all hit me at the same time. Really made me feel bad. Y'all, this is looking pretty. Did y'all see that top off there? Slowly. I think that's good right there. You want it kind of thick. I mean, because you are putting it on a in a pie. So maybe we'll wait just another second. It'll be worth the wait, I promise. Oh, these look good. I'll have to have a bite. Give me a little bite of apple. Mmm. Oh, it's gonna be so hot. It's so good. Hot. Good. Oh, that's really good, y'all. Y'all need to make these. And they will cool down, but that's okay, because we're gonna put them in a pie shell and put them right back in some hot butter to fry them. And get all that ooey gooey stuff out. That's yummy. Get out of there. Alright. Let me rinse this off because we're going to use it again. washed out with soap, you know exactly what it tastes like. All right, so now what we have to do, well, <laughs> like good southern cooks, we gotta put some butter in that there pan. <laughs> oh man, y'all, gotta put some butter in there. Cut that bead in half. Get on in there. Do your thing. Talk to your food, y'all. <laughs> Everybody knows it's good to talk to houseplants. Well, talk to your food. <laughs> All right, while that's melting, we're going to add some... See, I cut these in half, remember? We're gonna add a few apples. Get in. Just kind of there in the middle. Just there in the middle. Then, we're just going to take this dude and flip her over. And cut off what we don't need and plop it on the top of this one right here. They got that crust just a little bit. 
to um you want me to get on there and neither do you too thin might have needed to let it be a little bit thicker oh no <laughs> tell me that ain't funny it was just fine a second ago and just from setting it went sad <laughs> we'll doctor that dude up won't we we will doctor that dude right up patch it up we'll call it patching it up y'all know i'm not going to stop that recording to do it right don't you It does it right first time, second time, or third time sometimes. Don't worry about it. Take your fork and smash her up all around the edges like you would a pie. You know, the top of a pie crust. I'm dipping my, dipping my fork in um, flour. Now, I'm going to dip this in flour. Not so thin, not so thin. <laughs> That's too funny. All right, here we go again. I'm gonna get these off here. When you, <laughs> it's so funny. Hey, as long as they taste good, y'all, you woohoo, who cares? Now, I gotta wash my hands again. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. I'm gonna get me a clean spatula. Here we go. Oh, look. Wasn't that sweet? Wasn't that just sweet? I'm going to put it in here and let her fry. Put her here and let her fry. Put it a little hot right there.
that clip down. Get another one ready. We'll see what this one does. Take it long to cook. Sometimes when you're fixing a fried pie like this, you have to actually, once both sides get done, you have to set it on its end just for a minute. I always do. Just to make sure. Sometimes they get done and sometimes they're not quite done. Oh, yeah, look at that. Now, if I hadn't got my butter so hot, it would have uh, golden up. But it will be fine. Michael ate it. <laughs> I just keep adding little bits of butter. You kind of take a peek, see how it's doing under there, too. That's your fried pie. Get this one out. And there's our fried pie. There's our fried pie. We got a fork. Let's see what's going on in there. Sometimes you got to get to the apple. And I want y'all to see the apples. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was good. That was very good. Might even added a little, should have added a little more sugar for a for pie. But, hmm, bon appetit. <laughs> mm, I know, mm hmm, mm hmm. Oh, I swear. <laughs> y'all 
Use a little more sugar in your apples or your pies. <laughs> like I broke that since then, I'm short for <laughs> phrases. <laughs> All right, y'all. <clears throat> I'm gonna clean up this mess. I'm gonna make me a funny looking pie <coughs> out of that one and finish this one. Mmm, Mikey will be happy when he gets home. <laughs> See you later. Bye.